Hey guys, this is Adam again at Burns Cadillac Chevrolet. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 2018 Cadillac CTS Luxury Collection. It's one step up from our standard collection, um, so you're going to get a lot of extra features on this one. You're going to get a lot of different ambient lighting styles that are trims on the front here. The grill is going to be a little bit more pronounced. Of course, from Cadillac a little bit ago, changed their um, design a little bit. They took the reef away, but left the shield. I think is super nice looking. Um, as I walk around here, you're going to see that um, this particular model has the 18-inch polished wheels. It's, it's one inch larger than the 17-inch wheel. Super sharp, really, really nice. It's got all the turn signals in the mirrors, and I wish it was nighttime because you'd be able to see it, but it's got the puddle lights that light up as you approach the car. It's got proximity keyless entry right here, easy to get in and out the car. Cause, I mean, it get in the car because you have the remote with you at all times. Let's change that a little bit. It does have a tankless gas cap it's right here, so you no longer have to have the gas cap when you get gas anymore. That's pretty awesome. Yep. Tail lights are um, pretty awesome as well. You'll notice that inside here, you'll find that the Cadillac emblem, um, Cadillac word is located right there. We're going to take a little bit look at the rear end of this uh, vehicle as well as the trunk. All right guys, one thing I did neglect to mention, which is convenient back here, is this is the 3.6 liter uh, V6 engine for Cadillac, um, which is a really big upgrade from the two liter turbo, which is an awesome, uh, awesome engine by itself. It's got the rear parking sensors on the back back here. And as you'll notice, it does have the brake light, but it's kind of integrated into a rear spoiler. That's a pretty awesome design. There is a trunk release latch underneath here. It's pretty simple to hit along with a rear vision camera, which we'll go over here shortly when we get to the inside. You will notice that the trunk is absolutely massive, at least in my opinion, and it's become synonymous with Cadillac over the years. Um, so you got plenty of space, a little bit of storage, and some, and some spare tires, uh, spare tire underneath here, or the inflator kit, whichever one uh, you decided to go with on your purchase. And we're going to come around here, we're going to take a look at the inside of this vehicle. You're going to finally get to see the premium quality um, that Cadillac does have to offer um, to you guys. And you'll notice this one has the light cashmere leather seating. And from front to back, it's got ven uh, ventilated seats. Um, one thing I think Cadillac did really nice was put in an armrest. I know I don't mean a whole lot, but to me it does. If I'm sitting somewhere for a long ride, I want to be comfortable, especially if I'm sitting in the back seat. And not to mention being comfortable in the back seat, you also have the air vents for the um, for your passengers, along with a two USB charging ports. Um, that I'm sure on long rides is going to come in handy to keep you keep your um, electronic devices uh, charged. Now that we have the front driver's door open, you'll be able to see a little bit more of the quality I was talking about. Leather on the um, door panel. It's got suede on the door panel. It has wood grain integrated in here. It's also got the um, memory seating, it's got tweeters in the door, it's got power windows, power door locks, along with the premium Bose audio system. And don't quote me on it, but I think I'm pretty close. You've probably got 13 speakers of the Bose audio system in here. Now that we're sitting down in the driver's seat, you're going to see some more quality that Cadillac has to offer. And it's all integrated into the steering wheel and a little other components. Leather wrap steering wheel, it's got all your um, audio controls and voice activation controls from left to right here. You're gonna notice a few little buttons that most people don't know. It's push to talk, of course, hang up. Cruise controls. You've got your um, heated steering wheels and your forward collision alert. And all the radio controls are located right here to the right. You're gonna notice behind the steering wheel is a paddle shifter um, for you to have like some semblance of a manual transmission. It's got a digital gauges up here for your driver information center of course on the dash is integrated in some uh, leather and like some perforation um, leather right across the center stack we're gonna come here and notice that of course it is an automatic we have different modes we can set it into which Calic offers one thing I think is pretty cool is they offer a electronic cup holder which opens and closes just with the push of a button um, one thing you'll notice that also the Cadillac has to offer from all their brands is that the um, middle here looks the same. We've called it Cadillac Q for years. I think they've gotten away from calling it that. I don't know the technical name, so I'm gonna stick with Cadillac Q. Um, of course, it's all touchscreen right through here. It's got um, 
lane keep assist. You can even turn off the auto stop function. Some people don't like it, some people do. It does conserve gas. Of course, integrated inside here is Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Navigations. Everything is at the touch of a button. I hit it, it pops up. It's pretty convenient. Um, an electronic glove box that will pop open. It's got the rear parking sensors, audio, I mean, all your controls for your climate controls and actually auto controls too, along with heated and cooled seats in a small hideaway compartment that I can hit one button and open it up with, which I think is really awesome. Same thing that General Motors offers on other vehicles is OnStar. It is a really awesome feature. We're gonna go over the fact that this thing does have a sunroof up top. With the sunroof, you're gonna get um, a power cargo shade opener here. That push of a button, the cargo shade does open and go all the way back. Um, gives you a little bit of an ultra view. I think that's technically what it's called. And of course, one hit of a button and I can open up the sunroof for tilt. I can also make it rotate all the way back. I think it looks pretty cool. And a, I don't think they technically call it a wind shade, but I'm gonna call it a wind shade. It does deflect wind off and hopefully doesn't mess up your hair. Not that I'm ever gonna have that problem. So I think Cadillac did a great job with doing this on this car. We have plenty of them in stock. I'd love to be able to assist you. Please find us on YouTube, find us on Facebook. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and like, comment, however you wanna do it. Let us know how we can assist you.